Howdy folks, Mandy Lowry here with Black Hive Media, and this month we're releasing our 2D Arena Shooter Apple Link on the Nintendo Switch. Just a quick intro, if you're not familiar with us, Apple Link is a game my husband and I created a couple years ago. My husband is the graphic artist and I'm the sole software engineer on the project. It's currently out now on the Xbox. You can find it by searching Apple Link on the Xbox Store. Today, I'd like to give y'all a brief introduction on the three tools that we could not have lived without in making this game as a small indie dev team and as having a little team of budget. And a little bit on how we utilized each tool. Uh, this will be a series, so I'll be doing a deeper dive into the coming videos. Uh, so, to get started, the first tool we use every day is Unity. Unity is a 2D, 3D engine. There's um, tons of documentation out there, loads of tutorials. It's very versatile. It's multi-platform. I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, if you know, you're know you a game developer, I'm sure you've even tinkered with this engine. If not, I highly recommend giving it a go. It definitely made our lives easier in having a engine that was just ready to go. It's easy to download and just open it up and start tinkering with it. Um, yeah, so that being said, our second uh, tool that we use a lot is PlayFab. PlayFab has been invaluable to us. If we had to do everything from scratch, uh, the game just simply wouldn't have come out. <laughs> it's a load of work. Uh, we use PlayFab for our login system, for our economy, for our leaderboards, and our player data saves. It works on every platform, which is perfect for us because we're releasing on Xbox and Switch and other platforms to come. It's also incredibly versatile. You can customize it a million different ways, especially with their cloud script feature. And uh, the community here is super useful. And there is sample code on GitHub and as well as documentation on the site, which is, is getting better and growing each day. So yeah, I definitely check out PlayFab if you've not uh, tinkered with it already. So the third tool that we use for this game uh, is Photon Engine. Alpha Link is a multiplayer online game. It's local as well, but it's also online. So uh, you can play your friends um, on the other side of the world, and that's made possible by using Photon Engine. Uh, so we used Photon in a few previous projects, and so we just it was just an easy transition for us to uh, use it in this project as well, just to get it up and running quickly. And um, it's very affordable for indie devs and garage devs alike. It is very basic to implement into your game. There's a plugin on the Unity Asset Store you just drag and drop. There's documents, there's tutorials, there's uh, sample code. So it's, it's definitely a simple integration into your game to get something going. So I would definitely check that one out. And so yeah, those are my three tools that we use uh, to make Alpha Link. And just as a bonus, there are two other tools that I use constantly, uh, GitHub and Visual Studio, obviously. <laughs> For each platform we develop on, we have a branch on GitHub. So we have a Nintendo Switch branch, we have a Xbox branch, we have a PC branch, and maybe a PlayStation branch out there somewhere. I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. Um, along with different features, uh, new game modes that we're wanting to test out, uh, and, you know, if you like free, you can use GitHub for free. Uh, there are paid tiers, obviously, but yeah, just to get it going, there is a free version. Um, and if it seems a little intimidating for you, um, especially using command line, there is a desktop application to make it easier, make the UI feel more at home if you're used to that rather than working the command line. Um, so yeah, and then the other one that I mentioned, Visual Studio. It is my IDE of choice. Um, it's tied directly into Unity. Um, of course, you can change this in Unity to fit whatever IDE you prefer. Uh, it's also very customizable, so you can choose any color thing that you're used to, that you're comfortable with. You can also optimize the layout um, or keyboard shortcuts to fit, fit into your workflow, whatever you're used to if you're coming from a different IDE. Um, there's also tons of plugins and a lot of built-in options, so you can re really make it work for whatever whatever you're trying to do. And also, there's a free version, <laughs> so we like free, uh, especially as indie developers. So yeah, those are um, the three plus two tools that we use to make our game Alpha Link. Like I mentioned, we'll be doing a deeper dive in this series, but just this is just a quick intro on how we developed uh, Alpha Link, what tools we used, 
and the game will be coming out this month on the Nintendo Switch, so stay tuned.